I know in games, uh, goals can, can look a, a little misleading. I mean, you, you pretty much dominated that game from start to finish, didn't you? You'd have been very disappointed coming in at the break, 1-0 down. Well, it's disappointing when someone don't pick it up, an allocated marker. Um, and we, we spoke about that at half-time. Um, I think we pressed it really well. I think we passed it well. I think the fall down in the first half was in the final third. We've got some very talented boys, but they're all trying to overplay. They're all trying to take one touch too many. And um, not that you could pick folks, they're trying to open the door. And we said to them at second half, trust us, get up, get in that final third and, and play one and two touch. And, and when you when you got one on ones, then that's your time to have more touches. And, and to be fair, I think second half, the, the golfing class was immeasurable from my point of view. But there's some very talented young players against us tonight. And, and that's almost two. I think there's one change from, or two changes from going to Plymouth and winning 5 0 and winning 4 at Swindon and beating Wimbledon with real ease. And, and I think, to be honest, I think those young men will have, have learnt more tonight than they're, they're only under 23s forever. Yeah. And in that first half, you just want to be more ruthless, don't you, forward players? As you say, you got into some great positions. Just trust yourself to, to bury it. Well, we said trust ourselves to, to move them around, trust their touch, trust the people that run off the ball for you. And, and we said that at half time. We, we said, let's, let's trust each other more. And um, it's, it's the first time we've played a little system like that. We'll probably change again for Saturday. But um, I thought it, in the second half, it, it worked as good as you could hope it would work. We, we scored three, we could score five or six. And, uh, and Chapman's not had a safe to make, which is, which is good. Suiki Dembele reveled, particularly in that second half, and a, and a great goal to, to level the scores up. We've got some good players, haven't we? You know. Um, I don't want to think where chairman will be saying tonight, but they've come to a, a, a brilliant stage. Stamford Bridge is a hell of a stage, despite the fact it's empty almost. Um, but it's it's a wonderful stage to play football. And I, and I thought Dembele was good. I thought Madison in the second half became alive. Uh, I think George Cooper had a big introduction. He played really well. Plays with Tom on the first half. It was a bit minutes. And I thought that Ivan Tony in the first half was, was a little bit sluggish. And I thought second half he was unplayable. Yeah, Madison put a great ball in for Ivan and he keeps going and he just keeps that record going. Well, it's a, it's a fantastic ball for Mark. It's great play. And it's a great build-up, four or five passes. A uh, great ball by Marcus. <coughs> and, and Ivan Tony for me, is, I've said it, is a top championship striker. I've worked, we've been very fortunate to work with, you know, the likes of Lewis Grabin, who's a top championship striker, and Chrissy Woods, who's now in the Premier League, of course. Tony's got all of what they've got, all of it. And um, he's, he's young as well. So, But that's not to say any more than he's here. So Porsche supporters don't be thinking he's... he's He's going anywhere, it, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to build something here and, and our chairman and board are, are trying to help me do that. Callum Cook gets an assist obviously for Marcus Madison's goal, 90 minutes for him tonight after coming off the bench on Saturday and again did well. Yes, he came off the bench on Saturday, you're right, but more importantly he was, he was outstanding in a 45 minutes reserve appearance on Monday. So to go out and deliver 90 minutes tonight on the back of that, um, we like Cookie. Cookie a, is a very, very good player and um, we're pleased to have him. And uh, whilst we get one or two up to a speed, you know, whilst we get the likes of Tomlin and the Dempseys and, and the Whites that up to a level, um, then we're, we're going to have to, to utilise everyone in the squad and, and then the, the people who produce the players who produce the performances get picked. The wonderful thing is tonight, they're coming here, they don't know how we're going to play, they don't know how we're, know how we're going to shape up because we want various personnel on that shape yesterday. Um, but the nice thing is they're, they're all eager and hungry to play and and that's a good position to be in. But listen, we've, we've gone through in the checker trade. A lot of people dismiss it. We, we've made our intentions clear, as our chairman has every season. And we go through to the next round. And uh, anyone away? <laughs> Lee Tomlin, no safe play. 45 minutes in that first half. Was that always the plan? Yeah, it was always the plan. I said to Tomo yesterday, the plan was if he got to 45 minutes. And the temptation with Tomlin is to keep him on the pitch, you know, because he can do just something in a second that's very, very special. <clears throat> I think he was a little bit frustrated in there when I said he was coming off. But what I said to him, he could go out there and for the sake of another 10, 15 minutes maximum, he, he may do himself some damage, a little, little tear, a little strain, it could knock him back weeks. We've worked hard on him the last three or four weeks and kept our mouth shut while our chairman got on, we secured the deal with Barry. Um, but he's, he's got a lot of smells in his face now because he's that 45 minutes, he'll, he'll come on, he'll come on a measurable distance. Ryan Tafazoli, is he almost fully fit again now? He's obviously been playing with a little bit of a niggle in the last couple of weeks. He looked pretty solid out there tonight. Yeah, Taff was good. I was pleased with, I was pleased with them all second half. I think first half was a little bit frustrating. 
I think when you're when you're struggling to break through and that final third's a little bit frustrating, then we we tended to go a little bit long into Ivan, just a little bit too early. And um, and he's a wonderful asset, like you've seen in the second half when you can play it into him. Uh, but you have to put it in there further up the pitch and with a little bit more quality. But but listen, we're we're trying to do in one transfer window in two weeks what people have tried here for five years since Fergie's time. So um, and that that's why we'll continue to keep our mouths closed and work hard and, and ask your group to do the same. Draw tomorrow night, as you say, anyone away? Anyone away. Um, it doesn't matter to me, anyone away. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter, anyone away.